Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Fiona and I'm a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take you with me in my artistic journey, whether that means working on projects here in my studio, going out to see cool art exhibits, buying art supplies and sharing my haul with you, basically any art related content. So if that sounds like something you're into, please like and subscribe, please. It helps me out so much and I would really appreciate it. Okay, friends, today we are going to be playing around with a Kintsugi kit. Hooray! Which essentially is to repair broken ceramics by putting it back together like a glue, but you use precious metals. This specific kit says, Kintsukuroi. Kintsukuroi is a Japanese art that aims to restore broken ceramics to show a new life and at the same time show the scars of its past. This art form fixes the fragments by using precious metals such as liquid gold, thereby increasing the value of these fragments. So this is a kit that my mother and I picked up off Amazon because if you guys have been following along, I had a ceramic that cracked in the kiln and I thought um, it's this black and white piece here. I thought it would look nice with that little bit of gold. I did not realize previous to starting filming this, uh, my mom filled in the crack with something already. If you guys watch my studio vlogs, you'll know what happened. But basically, you can see, huh? Well then, so it may not work for that specifically, but we have the kit. So I figured let's test it out, let's try it. Um, and from my understanding, it comes with these two little plates that you break and then literally put back together. So before I would even touch one of mine, I'm going to do the practice ones and we'll see. Let's try it out. Okay, so. This is the kit here and what it looks like. So we're gonna open it and see what is inside. So you take this off. And the first thing is instructions here. And it says, Kintsugi putty, what is epoxy putty? Easy to use. Um, and kind of explains it. Well, then on the back it says, what is Kintsukuroi? When we lose something that someone bought for us for a sentimental occasion, it's part of the memory fades with the loss of the item. And we will always have that image in the moment in our minds. Losing objects of relevance is key moments in our life and a genuine blow to our ability to stay strong and healthy. However, solutions can often be sought. And then um, it goes into basically how you repair the ceramics. Um, so Kintsukuroi in Japanese is golden joinery. I know kin means gold, so I didn't know what sugi meant, and I guess it means joinery. So the process is called uh, kintsugi, which means golden repair. Um, so yeah, and then it gives you a little instructional here on it's broken, you mix it, you put it together, and then I guess you let it dry. It says patiently wait for the magic. So when you piece it all together, it's time to sit back and wait. They recommend waiting 24 hours. So we are going to break this, put it back together and then wait 24 hours and see how it looks. So, so there's the epoxy, the gold and our little practice cups. So let's take everything out. So here's our little mixing cups. They give us two for ceramic. So here's one of them. Isn't it kind of sad that I'm going to have to break these to do this project? Uh, but that's the way to learn, right? As I said, I definitely don't want to do it on an existing ceramic. Here's the other one. So they're cute. They're like little sake glasses. And then this, which I don't know what this is yet. We're gonna find out. 
epoxy putty. Um, general purpose epoxy. And then our little containers of gold. And then tools. So we have one, two, three, four, five of these little mixing sticks, just little wooden ones. Um, we have two brushes. So we have a round brush and a flat brush, which are used to probably spread the epoxy. And then this little wooden spoon, isn't that cute? And lastly, pair of gloves because yeah we don't want to be getting epoxy on our skin so yeah let's try this out all right so I have my instructions here and step one is to arrange broken pieces so I think the first thing I have to do is break this <laughs> I really don't want to I wonder if they're hard to break do I do it with a hammer do I just drop it it didn't break. What do I do? Okay, I have this towel down. Important things have been moved out of the way. Um, and I have a hammer. So let's try this. Show how? What? Oh! Should I break it one more time just to see? That felt really satisfying. <laughs> Maybe I was ambitious to smash it into this many pieces. Let's see here. So I have to figure out how this went together. <laughs> Might have to do a playback on this, guys. Did I? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I need to sit on the other side so I can see what I'm doing. This way. Then this, that, and then we know this baby goes like this. <gasps> Kintsugi master, what do we think? Okay, so. So here is our general purpose epoxy and it says to remove the top. It also warns that it is a skin and eye irritant, so please be careful while using this stuff. And then we have one of our little cups. And it says just a small amount to start with. But how do I squeeze it out is the question. And this, which I don't know what this is yet. It's just like this. You push the bottom maybe? Instructions aren't the most clear. Let's say that. Here we go, pushing. Looks like it's coming out. There we go. And then some of my gold powder. It does kind of smell, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's closed. Don't dry in four minutes. Ah. Where are the scissors? No. Aren't you guys glad that I'm trying this before you? Oh, there goes the gold. Pour some powder in. Okay. Ooh, it is sticky. That might have made too much powder for the amount of epoxy. I mean, it is hardening pretty fast. Okay. And then apply a mixture to broken places. So, let's see. Let's try. 
try it here. And push it to get there. Yes, that looks about right. Um. Oh gosh. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I feel pressured because they say you have to go fast. I am really glad I broke this thing to try it first. Guys, this is not cute. Okay, we got a lot more epoxy now. I kind of get the deal though. Like I kind of understand. Oh my gosh, it dries so quick. All right. Switching angles so you guys can see better. So I did that two sides. Oop. Now I have it on my finger. Um, woof, now that I'm sitting closer to this stuff. Protect your noses, y'all. It does not smell good. Okay, so there. I put gold around there. And now we're going to drop this in. Just fit him back in there. And <laughs> once it dries, it should look like that, which I mean, it's not the worst. Is it my best work? No, definitely not. But I don't think it's also my worst work. I feel like there's a hole here when I look through the other side. So I'm just going to fill that with gold. still look like you can see a little crack here. So I'm just kind of looking on the inside here and seeing where I can see light coming through. I'm kind of, I mean, I really did not do a great job of that. <laughs> and as you can see, I got marks all over it. So I think if you're, Oh, <laughs> I think if you're more patient than me and don't move around so much, it'll work. This is really hard in practice. I'm not going to lie. Look at this. Look at the mess I've made. Uh, I am not impressed with my performance. <laughs> Kintsugi kit fail. Oh, let's try what's left over with a brush and putting it on my big ceramic and seeing if it'll make it look pretty. Okay, I got a fresh pair of gloves on and we have this here. As you can see, it's already been filled with epoxy. So really it's just painting in that gold over it. So I have my cup here already mixed and I'm going to try this brush and we are going to treat it gently. It's very, very sticky, this stuff. So let's see. Let's see if we can paint it on. This seems to be going a bit better for me as opposed to that cup. I 
can definitely tell this is not something to rush. It's a very, very careful process here. I think that'll look nice though, once it's dried. Yeah, I'm liking how that's looking. So I guess that's also why they give you extra epoxy to maybe, or the extra putty epoxy. So you can kind of repair it ahead of time and then you're just kind of painting over it. It's less about using it as the glue. I think there's still a little bit of bottom here. Can see of the putty. Just want to make sure it's all filled in. There we go. I think that's looking good. So this is like epoxy and gold powder, but obviously people who are doing it legitimately will like use, you know, real gold metal. And I think that that's what makes it food and safe. Like, uh, like for food safety purposes, you have to use actual gold. Like no one would be able to eat using this epoxy stuff. But since this is a vase, that's not a problem. Oh, it's starting to get really dry. If we can finish this last little part. Isn't this the video you guys wanted? Just me whining about how difficult this is. <laughs> stressing myself out. It's probably meant to be a really calming process. I apologize. I think that's pretty. There's no epoxy in this part here, but I feel like that line still kind of goes. So I kind of want to put a little here just for aesthetics. There we go. And honestly, in person, it doesn't look too bad. Like, I think it's a prettier solution than just having like the gray putty. Like this makes it look a little bit more intentional and more ornamental. And I guess they talked about that, that doing something like this actually adds value to a broken item, which is interesting. Okay, I think we're good. Let's take a quick look. Okay, so here's the repair I just did on this guy. 
But I think it works, right? It's kind of pretty. We'll see how it is once it's dry. But I'm not, I'm not upset at that. I think it looks pretty nice. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This on the other hand is a complete mess. <laughs> I think the way to go is the putty, do it bit by bit, and then brush it in after, like what I did here. That's, that's my official opinion on that. <laughs> I do have another cup, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Is this something that you would try out on any broken items that you have? Um, please don't let my experience discourage you. I should have been more patient and waited a bit longer and done it bit by bit. But honestly, it was fun. And I do think in the case of this one where I used the putty first, I think it worked well. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to see more art content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay well and stay inspired, my friends. Bye.